Uh, and also remember contestants, so keep the buzzers flat on the, on the lectern, and then after you've hit it, then you can show me. Uh, because if you, if you try to hold it up, it, it won't register. So keep it flat until you have hit it. Uh, any other questions? All right, so as you can see, this is the finals. And so I'll tell you who they are. Uh, so on the, and if, in case you've forgotten, that's Brian Liu, uh, closest to falling off the stage. Uh, and then Connor Gordon next to him in the same place he was before. Then Howard Hallam next to him. Howard, well, you were there in, in your semifinal too, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's your lucky lectern and, you, and you're at it. Uh, and then Max Guall from, uh, oh no, Michael, Michael Hahn, sorry. Michael Hahn. Sorry, from Iowa City. I talked to him about Jun He and then I forgot, I'm sorry. Uh, and then Luke Robitaille, right next to him. Uh, and then Stephen Chu. You, so a lot of you got the same lectern. It's nice going. Uh, and, and so, if, so they'll, they'll, they might rearrange. They'll do that math problem. They'll keep doing rearrangements to see how many of the vowels stay in the same place and stuff like that. We could do a, a first semifinal, second semifinal rearrangement and see how many in the same place and count that. But we won't. Uh, so this is the final. So again, I'll, I'll read the question and, and the choices. Sometimes I won't get through it all. Uh, but they don't have to wait for me to uh, read anything. Uh, once they see it on the screen, then they can signal in. And then the best thing to do is say the letter of your choice, and we do that because four of the letters sound the same, uh, B, C, D, and E, and so I'll never understand which one you have. But if you could say B as in boy, or C as in koi, D as in doi, uh, no, uh, uh, no, B, uh, B as in boy, uh, D as in dog, something like that, that, that might make it easier. Uh, we, we, want, we flirted with doing uh, Greek letters, but we couldn't get the software to actually print them. So, so oh, and there are five choices on these, A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, and normally we let people have a, another chance if, uh, you know, we don't get it right the first time through, but that's when we only have two people on stage. So with six people on stage, I have a feeling we'll get it right before we get through everyone because there's only five choices. Exactly, Luke knows that right off the bat. All right, so here we go. All set, contestants? What? Did you have a question, Luke? No, I, I knew he didn't have a question. See, judges, these, these, what, do, what do they call judges that are like that? These the judges that are making legislation. You can't be doing that. Uh, all right, so now we're ready. And Luke, yeah, I think he's just making sure he can see the screen. Oh, wait, uh, no, let's do it. Uh, so it's just for a little warm up, we have a video from Thomas Hales, which I almost forgot about, but fortunately the judges are on top of things. Uh, and so here we'll see it. Questions in the finals will be of that nature. Uh, no, oh yeah, Luke. So if someone buzzes and gets it wrong, then you'll reset it and then fix it first. After yeah, you reset exactly. It. So if someone buzzes in and gets it wrong uh, or is incorrect, then we get 60 seconds for everyone else to signal in, right? And so, and then if that next person, you know, they would signal in within that time, and if that's wrong, then we open it up to the other four and on like that. All right, all set. Here we go. Oh, and so now we'll, we'll do the finals, and here's the first question. Baltimore's Charm City Cakes attempted a Guinness World Record for the largest cupcakes, which happens in pounds, to be the nearest integer to the sum of the values of x, y, and z of the solution to that system of equations. x minus 2y equals 2, 5y minus 4z equals 2, and negative x plus 2z equals 4. How many pounds was the cupcake? Was it 30 pounds, 47 pounds, 61 pounds, 74 pounds? Is that you, Luke? C, 61. C, 61? That is correct. Very good, Luke. I, uh, <laughs> very good thinking, Luke. So I noticed you didn't write anything down, so you, you, you solved that in your head? Okay. Uh, good, nice going. Very good. Uh, and, and, so, and so we actually have a picture of a cake by, from that bakery and the, and the chef, but, not, but the, oh, I forgot, that's right. Uh, and there's the green arrow, and that makes it official. And then there's the, the cook uh, as a famous person. Uh, and it, it, the cupcake was disallowed, as it turned out, because it didn't satisfy oh, cupcake requirements. Cupcakes. And that's a cake. All right, here, here comes, oh, and then again, once we get, I, I think, do we see the scores now or after question four? Okay, so it'll be like in the semifinals. All right, here comes question two. Same rules, the, once, I, once it's there, you can answer in. What is the remainder? Is that you, Michael? Yeah. Okay. Is, is it D? Is it D? It is D. All right. <laughs> nice one. Very good. Uh, so, Michael. Uh, actually, Michael, this is not Jeopardy. So when you say is it D, we have to disqualify you. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, how'd you get 13 so quickly, Michael? So I know that if you have a long chain of factorials, like one factorial plus two factorial, da, 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 that the unit digit is three. So I just picked the one with the unit digit three. 
Oh my oh, god. <laughs> oh, everyone's I going all the other right. contestants are going, oh. But <laughs> that's good. That's very good getting that so quickly, Michael. Very good. Uh, and uh, ready for question three? Yes. Okay. Oh, and then there's yeah, that's right. Baltimore native Michael Phelps needs a display to store his 23 gold, three silver, and two bronze medals. He's planning to display them in four rows of seven medals each. How many ways can the medals be arranged so that in each row the sequence of metal color or type is the same in both directions? We're going to assume that the medals of the same color type are indistinguishable. So it doesn't say like 2012 or 2008. Uh, just, two, gold is gold, sorry. Uh, and so how many ways can that be done? Is it 48 ways, 320, 640, 720, or 768? Is that, that's Luke? E768? E768? That's incorrect. Incorrect. So the, the rescue have uh, now starting 60 seconds to an answer in the other five. Who is that? Is that Connor? Oh, no, sorry, you're right there, Stephen, sorry. Uh, D. Is it D? It is D. Very good. <laughs> 720. Whoa. So, tell us about it, Stephen. Um, so, B and C aren't divisible by 24, and A seems too small, and Luke <laughs> said E, ah. so. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stephen, you said to yourself, no sense going through all these cases of where those medals might be. I'm just going to yeah. kind of look a uh, holistic metal arranging solution. All right, that's good. That's good. Nice going, getting it right. Uh, here comes question four. Also, oh, right, sorry, also for 2,000 points. So, before, oh, we'll show it now. Uh, we'll let M, N, and P be three successive turns in a geometric sequence. If M oh, plus the? N plus P is 12, well, hold on for a second, the monitors B. went out. Uh, but Luke, you were in before the monitors went out for a second. 1B. Uh, is it 1B? Hold on. Oh, it is. All right. Uh, let me ask. Could you, could you see everyone else? Yeah, we could see it for a sec. There. Okay. And then, it was it how, I, I just happened to look when Luke hit his buzzer and it was gone. Uh, but you, it was up there long enough? I, I was able to see the screen for long enough to do the question and then do the rest of it like once the screen was off. <laughs> I believe you, Luke. I just wanted to make sure everyone else could see it. <laughs> so Brian, Connor, you, you guys could see it? Yeah. Howard? <laughs> yeah. All right. Stephen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was just too fast. All right. And so... Uh, <laughs> And so, like I wouldn't have it anyway. so Luke, I wouldn't have either. <laughs> Luke, do you, you want to tell us how you got one? Um, so that so n is the middle term, so it's three because it, the cube root of twenty-seven. So then m plus p is nine, and then m times p is twenty-seven over three, which is nine. So then one over m plus one over p is m plus p over n p. Nine over nine is one. Right. That's a, that's exactly right. Uh, very good. Uh, so I should point. So thank you, Luke, for that explanation. And uh, uh, you, you were in there very quickly Not getting it. Uh, sorry about the monitor. Uh, so I should say that you may have noticed, but the points go 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000, the next two are 3,000, and the two after that are 5,000. So Fibonacci values times 1,000. And oh, and this is when we see the score. So uh, the first time we see the score. So oh. Luke has 3,000, you got two questions, right? Steven has 2,000, Michael has 1,000, and Connor and Howard and Brian uh, don't have anything yet, but there's still a lot of points left, uh, and so they shouldn't feel bad at all. I hope they don't, good. All right, uh, so all set for question five? I hope so. Yeah, okay, here we go. A covering system is a set of congruences that includes every integer. 23 Luke. mod 24. Which one? 23 mod 24, B. B. B, B it is, yes it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's right. Oh, I completely misread the question. <laughs> so Luke, I almost got to the second <laughs> sentence on that one. Uh, so, and so I, I have to ask you, how'd you get that so quickly? Well, I think I've seen this in some paper. Or <laughs> so I knew it was going to be 24, and then oh. 19 mod 24 doesn't work because it, it clashes with 7 mod 24. Oh, well, that, 
Well, good, very good. Uh, and actually, we got the, the idea from a, from a paper. Uh, it was in, uh, and I think we have the credit coming up. I don't know if it's, I don't think we did the exact same question, uh, but it is uh, from, the, I, think, I don't know if it was the College Math Journal or Math Magazine or Math Monthly. It's not going to zero, that nice. Math Magazine. It was from Math Magazine. Feasible. Okay, thank you. So there it is. It yes. helps that I've subscribed to all those for. You do? <laughs> not that far back, but. Ah, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, and who doesn't? Uh, and so, so that's good. It's taken right. from the table. Oh, so, so Luke, do you get those online now or do you get hard copies? Uh, I think they still come in the mail. Okay, yeah. all right. I think, my MA, I think my MA membership might have lapsed sometime in there, but I've been, I've been a subscriber for years. Oh, all right. Well, uh, Luke, it's, it's, looking like, it's looking like you might have some extra money to renew the membership. Uh, <laughs> and so no matter what happens, actually, you'll have money. All right, so uh, nice going on that. Here comes question... Oh, sorry, sorry, the leaderboard. So Luke now has 6,000, and Stephen with 2,000, Michael with 1,000. And yes. So here's... Three B. B3. So that's three Bs in a row. All right, B3 is right. Everyone has seen this So Stephen says he's going to have some water. I'll have some water too, Stephen. I don't blame you. So this is one I don't think you figured out, Luke. So you, did you see this one too? This is, this is good coincidence for you. Yes, it, and oh, and you're, you were in the spirit of Ramanujan. Yes, congratulations. And so there you go. So th this is something that Ramanujan worked out along that video for us. We thank them for doing that. And uh, Luke, you did not figure it out the way they indicated there. Uh, but, but that's very good getting it so quickly. You, you recognized it. And maybe a few other people were reaching for their buzz at the same time, too, I think. So a lot of people know that. That's very good. Uh, so here comes the score. Luke, you now have 9,000. Stephen with 2,000. And Michael with 1,000. And Connor, Howard, and Brian, they have zero. But they shouldn't, like I said, shouldn't feel bad about that, because that's probably what I would have now, too. Uh, and, and, and so, like I said, you can still be mathematicians, don't worry about it. Here comes now uh, question seven. Consider a 100-dimensional unit cube with 2 to the 100. Who's got that? Uh, there you go, uh, Brian. Um, D. D? Yes. D100? All right, nice going, Brian. Brian's very happy about that. <laughs> See the word, those words of encouragement I gave that worked. Uh, so, uh, Brian, how'd you get that so quickly? Um, so the distinctives are just square root of 1, square root of 2, all the way up to square root of 100, so then there's 100 of those. Yeah, and so you, it, it depends on how many coordinates they differ in between 0 and 1, right? And so you could have all those possibilities. That's exactly right. Nice going, Brian, getting that right. And so now we'll see the score. So Brian, that puts you in second place. Uh, Luke has 9,000, you have 5,000, Stephen has 2,000, and Michael has 1,000. Uh, and Connor and Howard... Uh, I'll use those same words of encouragement that I gave Brian before, uh, so you could use those here. Uh, again, uh, uh, don't feel bad. So here we go. The last question. This is it. Grace is thinking of a positive integer. If the number she's thinking of is a multiple of 3, then it's between 50... Luke. E, 74 to 79? Yes, that's right. All right. Wow. Uh, I can't read that. Nice going. <laughs> I didn't read that. Uh, so go ahead, Luke. Oh, Luke, you know, this is good news for you uh, because I think we're running short of time, so I might not be able to get your explanation because we want to have the award ceremony. But, Luke, congratulations. Congratulations to everyone again. But, Luke, congratulations. You just won who wants to be a mathematician. So if I could have Ken Ono from Emory University come on stage, we'll have our award ceremony. For the audience, thanks. <laughs>